You know, if we're going to talk about the late 1970s and some head scratches that were going on, uh, we're going to have to talk about the Cleveland Barons. Now, I may do a bigger podcast to talk about uh, the move for the California Golden Seals to Cleveland and the uh, the various machinations that allowed uh, Cleveland to stay afloat for two years and then merge with the Minnesota North Stars. But ladies and gentlemen, I want you to just for a few seconds to take a look at the logo I'm presenting in this podcast. Look very closely. Does it look familiar? Well, I always wondered, uh, did the Cleveland Barons kind of adapt a logo similar to the Montreal Canadiens because the Montreal Canadiens almost moved to Cleveland? It, that's that's a real story, ladies and gentlemen. When Montreal was not doing well, there was some talk if the Habs were going to move their, their squad all the way to Cleveland. Now, we all know that Cleveland was a AHL affiliate of the Montreal Canadiens for a number of years. Many top players with the Barons had played. Uh, top players of Montreal had played in the Barons uh, minor leagues. But I basically think that uh, hockey is hard enough in any community but in Cleveland where you know the the Cleveland Browns, the Cleveland Indians, the Cleveland Cavaliers were on the losing end of title runs for so many years but um, to, to, to see the, the NHL having 18 teams and literally having the force to merge the Barons with the North Stars to, to keep the players on the Barons you know with some semblance of NHL contracts I think it was a failed experiment, but you got to understand, ladies and gentlemen, the Crusaders had been somewhat successful in the WHA before uh, the Barons uh, showed up in the shift from California. It was more like a WHA-style move than an NHL-style move, and I think basically Cleveland's market could only sustain an AHL team, and uh, getting you know 18,000 fans and their big rink that was being used for the the Crusaders wasn't going to happen. I think the maximum capacity on average for the Cleveland games was 10,000. Although they had some some, some success in their second season with wins against some of the top teams, including Montreal and Toronto, uh, Cleveland was never destined to be anything but a stopgap as kind of a holding a spot in the NHL until the the WHA uh, teams uh, came in. But it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. The Ottawa Senators logo is kind of a partial ripoff of the colors of the Montreal Canadiens. But, I mean, the the Cleveland Barons logo, like I said, it reminds me of the Montreal Canadiens. It's not that that red Montreal Canadiens. It's a darker red. But every time I saw the old uh, Cleveland uh, jerseys, especially the red home jerseys, I had to look twice because it was almost like if the color was bad in your TV, it would look like a Montreal Canadian road jersey of circa maybe 1974 when we had the darker reds where the CH on the logo of the Montreal Canadian jersey was a little bit higher, which are kind of featured in the old uh, uh, Lipton cards. If anybody out there collects those, you know what I'm talking about. So the Cleveland Bears, we're going to be doing a bigger podcast later on, but we just want to give a blurb to say, you know what, uh, uh, their connection with the Montreal Canadiens is much more than just cosmetic. They were developing a lot of good young players there, supported well by the Cleveland hockey fans. Uh, you know, you look at the statistics on their net hockey database and the different uh, formats. You know, there was a, a lot of good, a lot of good players passed through that city, and I'm very glad that Cleveland is uh, now a city of champion, not champions yet. But you know, uh, I feel bad for Cleveland because, you know. As a journalist, <laughs> no comment. When you leave, when you lose your franchise and they leave and you win a Super Bowl, and they give you uh, another franchise with the same name of the team that left, or even worse, you can't make this shit up. Anyway, have a good evening. Bye.